Hey yo, Captain Lin here, back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the current status of islands and whether or not it's dead, you know, and many of you guys are probably, you know, maybe having a lot of these <laughs> things about saying, you know, islands is dead and stuff, I mean, I kind of, you know, think that islands is going, definitely going on a downhill spike, okay, you cannot deny it just because of its current thing you know what i'm saying like the players i seen hit all-time lows today like this is the all-time lows for islands like you know what i'm saying this it hit 8k players which is the problem okay this game has never hit 8k players in the life and that was at night okay that was a night doesn't matter if it was a night but you know it was doing really really bad compared to like a lot of other games like a simulator game and whatever we're literally out beating it you know showing like there's very little people actually afk grinding in this game like you could a probably macro and afk grind but people don't do it overnight that much so that just shows that you know um a lot of people don't really uh is, are not really interested or worthy of grinding like for days and days because that's just how I feel, and that's just how it is, you know, like, it's been like this after the wipe, I'm pretty sure. Plus, also with the updates not releasing, so hopefully they do have an update. They're saying this Friday, but I'm pretty sure the game is going to tank even higher, I mean, lower today. I'm not sure if it will, but who knows, man. Um, but right now, it's not looking so good for islands, okay? It, it really isn't okay with the xp update you know everybody started to playing you know hit all times highs kind of in like a little bit spike up we're reaching like 30k players and many guys were celebrating some people were celebrating like you know the game's alive again uh, economy's alive but right now honestly on the way it is going right now the game's getting boring the game's like kind of dying this game didn't even survive for six months is the problem okay like simulator games literally definitely survive way longer than islands um but basically almost because their the pet simulator literally had like 30 40k players for like almost like a whole year so you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay this is this game plus the amount of high traffic roblox is getting these days like 30k is not possible for islands anymore you know what i'm saying um, unless they have a really big update right now, it's like I doubt it though. The reason why um, people are saying, you know, like people are uh, getting islands is like alive or like not dead anymore, is because uh, the wipe update. You know, we got to 30k plus players, you know, everything. But the reason for that 30k players is not really because they're really interested in playing the game, they're just interested on what's happening and why is everybody talking about it you know like it literally hits so many views on youtube and stuff and like other platforms social media platforms and everything like everybody was talking about it so everybody wanted to join in the game and see what happened but now after like a week or two like the game is like really boring like there's very little content like the only content we got in so far is furniture which absolutely is nothing okay like what do we do with some stupid furniture that we really don't care about because we rarely decorate you know if you want to be rich you're gonna have to farm either farm trade or do that furniture nobody gives a care in the world okay they pretty much it's kind of necessary and um also i feel like the budget of these updates are definitely going to be lower so that means the quality of these updates are definitely going to be worse compared to before just because um budget you know <laughs> a budget um nobody's really uh buying pro pass and in fact if you're buying pro pass right now i'm pretty sure a lot of people will probably make fun of you just because like it's you're spending 2k robux uh, uh, thinking based on the fact that you don't have economy 60 and you you know um you, you don't you didn't have thought about it because Honestly, buying pro like buying pro pass, the most you can get out of it is like a hundred mil in like a couple of days, and it's pretty hard already. So that means like they're Islands is no longer getting their like quick, easy you know monthly paycheck anymore. Like people used to buy pro pass like crap ton, like you know what I'm saying. Like everybody really want needed like pro pass to get rich. Now if you have pro pass, it's basically non competition and pro pass 
are just money machines right now like it's pretty much just like you getting money like see like the servers aren't popular no more like there's two people on the servers dude meaning that there's only a couple of people that have it but these are people that already had pro pass prior to the update meaning that a lot of people are not making Islands is not making a lot of robux at this point okay they they're, they're really much like draining their pockets although there is um xp levels and the xp boost wait do they have the xp boost again wait where is it but they had the xp boost back then and stuff oh yeah they have the xp boost but still the xp boost is pretty much useless like it's only like uh, it's only like a hundred yeah it's a hundred robux so i mean i guess that can work but people are only gonna spend like two or three hundred and now people are level higher level so that doesn't make any sense no more unless they have add a game pass or something they're really much just struggling to get by compared to how much they're making like what they're making on a daily is probably like le less than 200k now or like uh 300k based on pro pass well, like probably 100k in sales in pro pass or less i don't know but yeah nobody's really buying pro pass which is the highest paying game pass you know 2k is probably like just 20 dollars you know it's like eh, eh. i'm pretty sure a lot of people uh you know can't afford it now and then but um it's just not getting that much sales okay which means that a lot of these budgets for updates are gonna get worse and worse just based off how um these past updates have been like i'm pretty sure there wasn't really that much of a good update this update I mean, for some, you can say it's good, but I don't know. Okay, that's just like, that's just up for debate, really, just because, uh, well, right. Well, here's the thing, okay? If they really wanted to do this right, they shouldn't have delayed that update right after it because we are forced to wait two weeks, which means there's basically no content. Like, who cares about furniture? Like, look at the furniture videos and everything like that. And, like, literally barely anyone cares. Like, it's literally the same thing as any update. Like, if you... Any video without talking about the update. Meaning, there's no hype in the update at all. And I'm pretty sure you guys didn't even know Islands updated, which is the thing. Um, so, yeah. Like, it's pretty much kind of dead in terms of, like, content right now. Because once you get a tons of levels and stuff and everything the game just gets a lot more boring um there's very little purpose remember like when there was tons of coins and stuff like you could get tons of coins you can buy stuff get rich and do all the whole process and that was the whole process that keeps you playing for hours and hours and days and then uh, because it's not really easy to get billions of coins and you can spend it all anytime you want but now you can because and a lot of people aren't really valuing coins that much. So here's the problem is coins aren't that valuable. They're no, like it is really valuable. They're trying to make it valuable, but it's not really just cause there's still tons of like, you know, dupe coins people store in vendings and stuff prior. So there's still a lot of dupe coins, um, meaning that it wasn't really like necessary now just cause people don't value million coins that much. People don't value like, uh, a tons of stuff. I mean, I'm pretty much just playing this game for you guys, for giveaways, whoever needs coins, whatever. I don't really much care about grinding like tons of hours a day. If I were doing this just for fun, you know, that's just that's not happening. Okay, I'm pretty much just grinding just so we can afford giveaways and stuff and stuff. That that's really that at the end of the day. So yeah, I'm not sure if you guys still like really you know have anything to say about islands is based off the current situation like it, it literally hit all time lows today so if the update isn't good then i'm pretty sure it's going to be very very bad for the game okay like i have no idea how we're gonna um i'm pretty sure i'm just pretty much pivoting towards a, a way to uh, away from islands now because the game is like kind of like losing interest is what I'm trying to say here because like after the wipe and stuff a lot of people just realized like the game wasn't even that fun in the first place you know there there are definitely way more other games like that are way more fun than islands like it's basically an island build game okay it's basically a simulator I many guys are already saying like a simulator like a simulator is basically performing 
way better than islands right now that that's just what i'm trying to say like a 10 year old game two year old and three year old game is doing way better than islands so and like a simulator is doing way better than islands which is very sad to see because i mean like uh, i mean of course they just recently updated and stuff like some simulators but still okay it's been here for like two or three years already those kind of simulators and they're doing way better than islands so Compared to every other game, I mean, you can definitely say it's definitely doing worse than it was, okay? It, it, no matter how you say, you know, dupers have ruined the game, well, like, they're not here anymore. So, if you want to complain about dupers and stuff, they're no longer trying, okay? They're, like, just pretty much just giving up on the game. They already got their profits. Like, if, before you guys complain about dupers and stuff, they already got what they wanted, which is get freaking rich from the game, you know? They're, they're trying to make... Uh, Robux uh, money from the game so they, and in fact they did already so why, why do they need to spend more of their time and effort just to get so little of it because no one's really valuing coins anymore and items so yeah I don't know man that's just all I'm gonna say here um, I don't know you guys might have your own opinion about islands right now just cuz eh, it's kind of boring that's all I'm saying like uh, as for you guys it might not be boring but for me, that play like islands for six months straight, every ten hours a day. Yes, it's definitely boring. Okay, like you cannot deny that. There's very little content. Pretty much just grinding, like staring at a white wall and watching paint dry. At this point, um, is a little bit more interesting than islands, kind of. <laughs> I don't know, but that's it for today's video. Um, and yeah, like that sucks.